You've got Dow Chemical buying Roman Haas for over $15 billion. This is an all-cash deal, and we are speaking with Andrew Liveris, the CEO of Dow Chemical. Uh, Andrew, you've been talking about uh, Berkshire Hathaway's involvement in this deal. Warren Buffett uh, himself uh, signed off on this deal, said he wanted to be involved. What did he say about Dow's stock when you talked with him in May? Well, uh, clearly uh, our stock and how we were viewed in May or for, for that matter, Becky, how we were viewed the last 12 months, or for that matter, how we've been viewed since the last industry peak, is one where he noticed, I think, that there was more value there than what the current price indicated. Now, we've been saying that for some time. We understand why the market was not interested in a stock that was having year-to-year -year earnings decline, because it was the nature of our industry. Uh, Warren is an astute investor. He understood that as well. But he also understood the tectonic shift we were undertaking to change that. And clearly, at that point, there wasn't a Roman Haas deal in the offering, but the opportunity to participate in the turnaround in our earnings profile from one where we were fundamentally a commodity stock to one where we can be re-rated and be looked at as a diversified materials and specialty chemicals company prior to the Roman Haas acquisition I think Warren would have noticed that. And the sort of conversations we had was along the lines of that. What's our strategy? How are we going to change from a cyclical to an earnings growth company? That's been what we've been driving for the last several years. And between the Kuwait deal on the basics and now this Roman Haas deal on the specialties, we fundamentally get there. And that's what he would notice. Uh, it's so fascinating, this deal. So, I, I mean... I. I saw the, your eyes light up talking about uh, about water treatment and obviously the future for that, Andrew. And that's we hear about that constantly uh, when, when people come out of the next oil, obviously. But Roman Haas does other things, and I'm wondering, uh, you know, Buffett's in all these these housing related things, you know, carpet and paint and everything else. Uh, Roman Haas sells into to all those uh, markets, don't they? They do. They have uh, exposure to housing, building, construction. Of course, electronics, water treatment, and other markets, they have strong diversity, but yes, they are in those markets, Joe. And, and I, I, I guess you buy at times when that was at a two-year low, I think, Roman Haas, so you can give a pretty big premium uh, for, for a stock that is somewhat uh, depressed. Can you tell us what, what type of coupon uh, and conversion uh, we're talking about with Berkshire, or, or is, is that uh, too in-depth? Well, it's probably too in-depth, other than I'll say it this way. Uh, Warren is locked in for five years, um, and he gets, uh, he gets some preferred there. That's clearly a convertible preferred, but he's with us for five years. He's bought into the story, uh, the trust and respect that Becky was talking about earlier. He's bought into our transformation. And the other point you made about the time to buy, I think that's exactly right. Remember, Roman Haas dropped 16% during our negotiation period, and frankly... You know, that whole point, uh, low in the cycle, and what that means in terms of potential turns in the cycle, I mean, I think Warren Buffett speaks for himself, but I think astute investment is something I'd put alongside his name. I saw... And, yeah, he's with us for the long term. I saw Dow down at 30, low 32s. We're now 33.15 to 33.17, so that's only, you know, about 70 cents of, of downward pressure at this point. I'm only coming up with $4 billion out of $15 billion. Uh, uh, Are you personally writing the, uh, the other $11 billion check there, Andrew? Yeah, we, we've I've just got secured lines of uh, from our advisors and financiers, Merrill, City, and Morgan Stanley. Uh, we Obviously, some of that will be retired when we close the Kuwait deal, when we bring in those funds, which will be before year-end. Uh, long story short, when we did our check with the rating agencies as we were getting the deal to close, in terms of announcement, excuse me, uh, we're going to remain investment grade. Our debt-to-total cap will be below 40%. We retain financial flexibility. And that $4 billion is an important $4 billion not as much for the source of the funds and did we need it, did we not need it, but who it came from. It's a signature investment in our story. And that's the way we viewed those funds. It wasn't because we needed them. And the other financing we got, even in this tough environment, we got uh, from those three institutions. Andrew, in the past when we've checked in with you, we've asked you about the economy. You said at one point a few months ago that uh, when you were on Wall Street, it felt like this nation was in a recession, but anywhere else in the country, it doesn't feel like that. We just saw a drop of 58,000 in the weekly jobless claims. What's the economy look like from where you sit? 
Well, this economy, uh, Becky, as I think I said at the time, divided itself between the financial sector and the rest at that time. But, you know, remember when I came on and talked about price increases not all that long ago, right. uh, we did indicate that Main Street, the U.S. consumer in particular, was showing great signs of weakness. The share of wallet that was going on in terms of loss of uh, spending power because of energy and food and, of course, the housing issues uh, was beginning to affect uh, the whole supply chain here in the United States. Uh, inflation is a real concern, and I would say to you this isn't over yet. Uh, I would tell you there's a uh, global weakening that's potentially out there as well. So, frankly, uh, I think we're in stormy waters for a while, but, you know, it's for a while, and we're all going to have to navigate it together. But I would not uh, read anything into the New York is one economy, U.S. is another anymore. I think there's definitely weakening throughout the United States. All right. Andrew, I want to thank you very much for coming on with us today, talking about the deal with Roman Haas. My pleasure, Becky and Joe. Always a pleasure to be with you. Okay. Hope to, to speak with you again soon. Again, Andrew Liveris, the CEO of Dow Chemical.